Yeah, I had to show that lead lagger starting up, lead lag preheat fixture starting the homebrew setup, or one of two. Actually, one of three to start this off, although that's not the primary purpose of this video. We didn't really get a clear startup during the uh, initial setup video, so I figured I'd show one more. Plus, the lead side took longer to start than usual, anyways. This fixture right here. It's back to being two lamp on both sides. But something's different. Yep, you saw a startup flicker, except. <laughs> okay. This side, still T12. That side, it's T8. And I tried to film a few videos where I did some startups with the uh, covers open, but those didn't come out too well, so I'm doing this freehand, but fortunately YouTube has a thing that ed edits out the uh, motion jitters. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of my blathering. To get to the point, what's actually in this T8 side is a advanced power cut ballast. They sometimes call those low frequency electronic ballasts. And it's sort of like a magnetic ballast, except for there's a little circuit in there that cuts power to the uh, electrode filaments after the lamps have finished starting. And the uh, lamps in the T8 side are actually uh, GE star coats, but they're the full mercury version. And although they had almost no startup flicker on nearly every single magnetic T8 ballast that I've tried, on this power cut ballast, they have a lot more than I've seen on any other ballast. So I've and I got a whole case of them for free from a university that discarded them, believing them to be bad lamps, and they said I could take the box, and most of them turned out to be good. So it was a score. Anyways, it actually uses less power than an ordinary magnetic ballast for these lamps. It uses anywhere between 59 to 61 watts. I measured it before installing it in the ceiling fixture on a remote plug-in setup. So, let's uh, put the iPhone on the ground and do a few uh, more startups. And I actually get more startup flicker with these lamps than I did with the Ecolux star coats, which had more startup flicker on every other magnetic F32 TA ballasts. I don't know why it's the other way around for the power cut, but here's something else. The behavior, the startup behavior of that power cut ballast is sometimes it's unpredictable. Sometimes it'll start up instantaneously. Sometimes the startup flicker will be very short. Sometimes it'll be actually be longer than the T12 half. Though it usually only does that after the fixture's been on for a bit and only recently turned off and then restarted. It's actually both ironic and fun to watch. Usually don't expect that. Anyways. Let's do a few more startups. Yep, that time it took longer than the T12 half. Doesn't always do that. But it's like I said, fun to watch when it does. Much longer than the T12 half that time. And one more. In three, two, one. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.